Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to create a beautiful and responsive website using the Canva app. If you don't know what the Canva app is, Canva is basically a graphic design software which helps you create these amazing graphics. You can create logos using it, you can create these amazing videos using it, you can create resumes using it. And it has launched a new feature which basically allows you to create these amazing and responsive websites for absolutely free and publish them onto the web. Now, if you know anything about website design, you might know that in order to create a conventional website, you would need paid resources such as a hosting or a domain. A hosting is basically a place where you basically store the, store the um, files related to the website, the coded files and the images and other assets. And the domain is basically a place where people would search in order to find your website. So both of these require a, a bit of an investment for you to create a website with. But if you want to create a website for absolutely free, then you can use Canva and you can watch this video tutorial until the very end. And you will see exactly how to create a beautiful and powerful looking website within no time whatsoever and without require any coding skills whatsoever. Now, if you like what you're seeing so far, then consider subscribing and turning on your bell notifications uh, because I'm going to be uploading more helpful content like this related to uh, WordPress, related to website design, related to making money online in the future. So if that's the sort of content that you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing and turning on your bell notifications and maybe give this video a giant thumbs up as well. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now the first step towards following along with this video tutorial would be to of course come into the Canva website and create a free account. Now you're going to be needing a free Google account in order to sign up. So make sure that you have a Google account. I'm not going to be teaching you how to create a Google account here, but if you want to learn exactly how to create a Google account, if you don't already have it, then you can watch this particular video that is appearing in the i button and it will teach you exactly how to create a free Google account. Once you have that Google account, you can follow along this particular part of the tutorial. So once you have the Google account, you can come here and uh, you have to come into this particular website, which is the home page of Canva. I'm going to be sharing the direct link for this particular page in the description. So you can go ahead and click on that link and you'll be taken directly here. Once you're inside of here, you have to click either on the top right hand section on the sign up button or you can simply click on the middle button right here. Once inside, you can choose any of these particular options in order to sign up to Canva. I'm going to be choosing the easiest option, which is the first one, continue with Google. Let me go ahead and click on it. Now it's showing me the option to sign up to Canva using my particular Gmail account. So I'm going to be just clicking on this since I'm already signed up. Now it's loading. Now as you can see, it's asking me for some questions. So the sign up procedure has been completed. Now I can put any of these here if I want to. I'm just going to be putting personal. You can put whatever you like and they're asking me to upgrade to Canva Pro. And I'm just going to be using the free version for this particular tutorial because I have to show you exactly how to create this particular website for absolutely free. So I'm going to be uploading, uh, so I'm not going to be upgrading to Canva Pro, but if you want to, you can upgrade to Canva Pro later on if you want to, but I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to be clicking on maybe later. Now, as you can see, I have successfully signed up to Canva and there was that little confetti animation right here, which looked pretty good. So now I can start creating my website and I can start creating all these amazing graphic designs if I want to. Okay, so now that we have successfully signed up to Canva, let's take a look at the Canva dashboard and check out the various features that this particular tool provides you. Now, as soon as you land onto the Canva website, what you'll be able to see is the design section. This is the place from wherein you will be creating custom designs. Now there are different kinds of designs available here. You can choose any of these. As soon as you select one of them, a uh, design canvas, a uh, blank canvas of similar dimensions will be created in a new tab and you can start creating your designs from there. Let me show you an example. For example, if I click on presentation, then a blank canvas of uh, 1980 and 1080p would be created and you can start creating your uh, your your presentation from here. You can choose any of these templates if you want to and you can add them here and you can start creating. If you want to add custom elements, you can simply like come into the elements folder and there are these graphics that you can add here. And uh, if you want to add images, you can simply search for an image. Like for example, if I'm searching for the image of a man, I can go here and inside of the photos section, you'll be able to see all these images. So you can add them. All of these are free and copyright free. So I'm going to be showing all of these features uh, in detail later on. But uh, for right now, let's look at the other sections that you get. So once I'm back here, other than the design section, you also have the project section. This is the place from wherein you're going to be creating projects and categorizing your projects. So this is a clean feature that uh, Canva provides. Other than that, there is the template section. 
wherein you'll find all these different templates of different kinds of stuff. Like you can find templates of logos, templates of resumes, templates of presentations, and you can use any of these instead of using a blank canvas and building your design out from scratch. And uh, if you're using any of these, you wouldn't get a copyright trick. It's like free for like uh, Canva users to use and reuse. And there are also a bunch of uh, pro specific templates, which you only get when you upgrade to Canva Pro. So uh, even even if that is the case, there are plenty of free ones that you can use. Other than that, there's a brand section, which is only available with the Canva Pro. So you can ignore that for the time being. And then there's apps, which basically give you all these amazing apps that you can use in order to extend the functionality of Canva. Okay, so now that we have taken a look at the different features inside of Canva, let's create our first ever website. So there's two routes that you can take when you're creating your first ever website with Canva. You can either create a website from the absolute scratch using a blank canvas, or you can take a ready-made template and create a website out of it. Now creating a website from the scratch, I would not really recommend it because it is very time consuming and it takes a lot of design for design knowledge for you to create something good looking. So instead I would recommend that you take one of the many templates that uh, Canva has in order for you to create and using them is not really going to be a problem. There's no copyright issues or anything like that. So you can simply go to the template section and uh, take a template and start uh, customizing it according to your own look and feel. So I'm just going to be showing you exactly how that's done. So in order to go into the template section, what we have to do is that we have to go into the left hand side and go to templates. From here, we have to specifically search for the templates of websites. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be going to the search bar and search for websites. Once you're here, click on this particular option. And as you'll be able to see, there are thousands of templates here for different kinds of websites. You can choose any of these and you can start customizing them according to your own look and feel. And as you'll be able to see, there are a lot of options right here. You can choose any of them other than the ones that have this crown badge appearing on it, because that's what shows that these templates are only specific to Canva Pro users. Uh, only Canva Pro users can use them. So it's not a paid template. The rest of them are free and you can use them to your heart's content. So I'm going to be choosing any one of this, which looks good. So let me just take a look at uh, what is good. Okay, so this looks neat because it has all these great animations and stuff. I can choose this if I want to. Uh, you can choose any of these that you like, but personally I'm going to be choosing this. So I'm just going to be clicking on it and uh, I can take a preview of what this would look like. This is what it would look like. It has all these neat animations and stuff. So let me go ahead and click on customize this template. So that would take me into this new tab. And from inside of here, I can start customizing this page according to my look and feel. Now, first of all, I can go ahead and change this product image. If I want to, I can simply like go ahead and delete this particular image from here. I can simply click on backspace after clicking it. And uh, I'm just going to be dragging this out. Now I can go to the elements section and I can add a different image if I want to. I can add the image of this guy. That would not make any sense because of course this website is for a headset. But uh, in case I'm creating something like a portfolio website, then uh, I can add this particular image right here of myself. And uh, I can change this headline. So let me go ahead and click on this. And uh, first of all, I can either go ahead and change the colors of this particular headline. And this is what it would look like. I can change it to whatever color that I like. I can change, like pick any color from this particular palette right here and change it to that. And it will be changed accordingly. I'm just going to be clicking at keeping it as black. I can change what the text says. For example, I can type in here, my name is Phil Joseph. And I can maybe highlight the Phil Joseph part with bold. And the rest of it is just kept the way that it is. I can change the size of it by going into the font size menu. I can increase the size of it if I want to. And on top of that, you can have all these buttons right here. These buttons are not really linked to any kind of page or anything like that. But if you want to, you can add a custom link here. Like you can select this particular text and go to the link section and add whatever link that you like here. For example, if I want to go to the Google uh, homepage, after clicking this, I can simply click on www. I can put the link www.google.com. And once it's been published, if I click on this particular button, I will be directly taken into Google. I will show that in the preview section later on, but we're not going to be looking at that right now. 
Now I can, uh, what you will be able to see is that uh, this particular website has been divided into these different sections. Uh, that's the first thing that you would notice. And each section has its own name. For example, if I want to check at this particular uh, page, then let me check what the name might be. I have to go into this particular section right here and check on notes. So the page name here is home. I can change the na name of the page from here. I can put whatever that I like. I can put my name if I want to. And I can save that. So you might ask me why this is important. Now, basically, whatever name that you put for your image, for example, you will be able to see that this is about, this is product. So whatever name that you put for your page, this is the name that will appear in the navigation menu once the website has been published. So you can create a new page if you like to. You can put a whatever, whatever name that you like to inside from the notes section. And that is the name that will display of that page inside of the navigation menu. I can go ahead and uh, let me show you a couple of other things. If I want to, I can add an extra page right here and uh, I can change the background of this particular page to match the rest of this. And uh, if I want to, I can simply go ahead and move this particular page into the top. It's totally up to me. Click on this arrow, bring it to the top. If I want to delete this page, I can click on the delete page button and I can customize the website accordingly. If I want to change this particular email right here to my email, I can go ahead and do that. If I want to add an address, I can do that. Yeah, so all these neat options and functionalities Canva provides you in the website. Now let me just go ahead and let me show you exactly what this website would look like in the front end. So I can go into the preview menu and click on preview. So as you're able to see, it shows me a neat preview of what this site would look like. It has all these cool animations and stuff. By the way, if you want to learn exactly how they created this animation and stuff, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be able to make a video, or a detailed video about how to create a website later on. Now this is with the navigation. You can remove the navigation if you want to. And you can also take a preview of what the site would look like in the mobile menu. As you can see, it is pretty responsive. And it looks pretty good. You can also, one thing that I would suggest you do before publishing is that you click on this particular button right here and uh, enable it to be resized on mobile devices. All right, so now that we have previewed this website, the only thing that is left for us to do is to publish this website onto the World Wide Web. Now, a very neat option that Canva provides you is that as soon as you publish your website onto the internet, they give you this free domain where you can use it in order to share your particular website with other people. So let me show you what this would look like. Uh, in order to publish this website into the front end, I can come here into the top right hand section, click on publish website. Now it would ask me to either connect my website to a free domain or a or an existing domain. If you have an existing domain, you can connect it to an existing domain. You would need to tweak the name servers and the DNS settings a little bit. If you want me to create a video about this particular option right here, then ask me in the comment section. I'll create a video about it. But uh, if but for most of you, you will want to create you will, you'll want to select this particular option right here for free domain and you will need to click on continue. OK, one thing. I am going to be enabling my navigation. So I'm just going back and enabling the navigation and click on continue again. Now I can add this link right here. I'm going to be removing this particular link. I don't want it. I'm going to be clicking on publish. Now, as you'll be able to see, my website is published live and this is the uh, link which I have to follow in order to see this website. I can go to view website. As you're able to see, this website looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so responsive, it looks so good, and it loads very quickly. So this is how a website would look like if you create it on Canva. So that's how you create a website on Canva. If you like the video, consider subscribing, turning on your bell notifications, and giving this video a giant thumbs up. Thank you for all the support that you're showing me. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.